Welcome to our honest review of the Iberostar Gran Bavaro Punta Cana Dominican Republic. This hotel is one of the five Iberostar properties on Bavaro Beach, considered one of the most beautiful beaches in the Caribbean, and it is the only adults-only resort out of the five. I will be having a separate review of the other four resorts in a separate video. Remember I said honest? The first thing I want to mention is that many of the reviews or even the website says that the hotel is about 15 minutes from the airport. No, it is 30 minutes from the airport. We arrived on, at, on a Friday at 1230 and it took us 30 minutes. Now, as you can see, the hotel is absolutely beautiful. The pillars, the chandeliers, just the marble is incredible. It's pristine condition and like any other Iberostar, it does not uh, disappoint. So over here to the left-hand side, we're going to go this way. Um, there we go. To the left-hand side is the lobby area, check-in area. To the right is the lobby bar. In the lobby bar area, at night they have singers, they have musicians, and they have some nightly entertainment. I'm going to show you where they have other shows and other entertainment throughout the property. There's the lobby area again. That's where you check in. And there's the lobby bar. Now the room, the room, there are all uh, the hotel boasts 272 suites. They are exactly alike. The setup is exact. The only difference is the view from the room. Also very beautiful. You have your robes, you have a safe, you have a fridge. They do provide you water. They're constantly refreshing the water. They had one outside of the fridge, but they also had one inside the fridge. And as you can see, they have some snacks and also some drinks in the fridge itself. So here we go to the room areas I mentioned earlier. The setup is exactly the same, but it is absolutely beautiful. That is, I think, a California king, if I'm not mistaken. Headboard, beautiful. The art, again, beautiful. Over there to the left, you see there's a bag. That bag has towels in it, so you don't have to go to the towel area to get your towels. You have your flat screen TV and the bathroom. Now, in the bathroom, keep in mind that the C is not cold. C is caliente and F is frío. So, some people think that, you know, in the uh, uh, United States, we have C and H for cold and hot. No, C is hot, caliente, F is cold, frío. We have the uh, shower head there, the rain shower head, and the jacuzzi bathtub. Please make sure you check out the video, which I'm going to put a link above, of if you don't have bubble bath, you can have your own bubble bath with the help of the jacuzzi uh, jets to create, um, uh, using shower gel to create the bubbles. So here's a view from our balcony. We had a lagoon view room. Didn't disappoint as well. Again, notice the uh, jacuzzi tub does face the balcony. Pretty cool, and you saw that the shades went up and down as well. There's the view from our room. And think about it. When you go to a resort, you're not going to spend much time in your room. You're going to go to the beach, to the pool, to excursions. So that's something to think about as well. In the pool area, the pool area is absolutely beautiful. Now, you notice at the beginning, the lobby, it was usually a quiet or, or empty. That's because most people are at the pool. There's something constantly going on at the pool area. Games, tournaments, volleyball, ping pong. There's Spanish lessons. They also have theme days. One day, they were handing out ice, cold, fresh coconuts. The other day, they had a Dominican Sancocho. So there's something always happening. There's the pool bar. Over to the left, there's the grill. They have burgers, hot dogs, and every day, they had paella. Over here to the left is La Perla Buffet. This buffet, again, is right next to the pool, but they only serve lunch. I believe it's from 11 to 3. So that's a, a quick, you know, to get a quick bite there. And they have some great food as well. Now, this is something that I wanted to point out. The beach does have wheelchair access. There was actually a lady that just had surgery on her ankle and she was in a wheelchair. Luckily, she was able to use this boardwalk area to go from the pool area over to the beach area. Now, it doesn't go all the way to the water, but it does go to the main area of the sand. This is again Bavaro Beach and there is wheelchair access from the pool area um, from the hotel. I thought this was pretty cool. There's Barbara Reach. And towards the end, you're going to see that many people come out early in the morning to see the sunrise, which is right there, which you're going to see uh, towards the end of this video.
Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that uh, you do have to claim your chairs uh, when you get to the pool area. So right now, I'm sorry that it was a little foggy, but it was very humid this morning. And this was at 7 o'clock in the morning. And notice the towels were already on many of the cabana seats. Uh, cabana seats go first. Cabanas go first. And it's first come, first serve. They'll let you know at check-in that that's something that you need to think about. Uh, so I went out at 7 o'clock in the morning to get some cabana seats, but there were none available. Actually, there was one left, but you're going to see a guy in a couple of seconds here that he beat me to it. Um, so the, the reason we wanted a cabana this day was because my wife and I were already burned from the sun. From the, We had been taking sun for a few days, and we were already burned, so we wanted to cool off. That guy right there, he beat me. I even said good morning to him, but he beat me to the last cabana. So so, um, notice again, all taken, all taken. If there's a towel on it, you need to respect that. And people do respect that. There's La, La Pella uh, Buffet again. And we ended up um, finding these two seats right here under, I think it's called pa Palapa. And we were able to get these two seats with a table, which was pretty cool. And we were able to use that one. Uh, restaurant Row. Over to the left, I didn't get a good shot of it, was the Bella Vista uh, buffet. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, again, it's a typical buffet, but they have different types of uh, theme days, if you will. Here is a list of the restaurants on the property. Um, we, had, we ate at Casa de Playa. We also ate at El Galeón Surf and Turf and La Tentacione. Now, uh, just to let you know, the Hashira Japanese restaurant is your typical hibachi. Okay, so um, if you don't like hibachi, we don't really care for that. We didn't go to the Japanese and keep in mind also that El Galeon Surf and Turf is the hardest one to get reservations. As soon as you arrive, uh, reach out to a concierge and they'll be able to try to get your reservations. They can help you with that as well. Just past the restaurant row, and by the way, all the entertainment does happen in front of rent restaurant row. And most restaurants open between 6 and 6.30, not any earlier for dinner. Here you have different stores, different shops. You have a place where you can make your spa reservations, jewelry store, you can get clothing, you can get souvenirs. That's the back of the lobby. And you have a little market there as well. Here's Casa de Playa. Casa de Playa we ate, um, and it was a Dominican cuisine. It was very delicious. And uh, that was the easiest to get reservations, by the way. Um, but not that it was bad food. It was just uh, people were trying to get other places. Here you have your rice and beans and your tostones, and that's some um, red snapper. These were fritters, I think shrimp fritters, if I'm not mistaken, with a nice sauce. There is um, um, lobster tail. Um, my wife had lobster tail every day. And it's all included. Again, all inclusive. There's mofongo for you guys that like mofongo, a little mini mofongo. Again, another shot of the lobster tail. I didn't get a menu of La Tentacione, but there's the lamb chops from La Tentacione. And again, my wife had lamb chops as well. Now, a Galeon is surf and turf, uh, nice setting, and you're going to see in a moment that the kitchen is right there in the restaurant. You get to see them cook your food, so they, they do give you the honor if you want to, you know, watch them cook your food. So there's the restaurant. We got that nice and early. There's a stairway to nowhere, the entrance, and over on the left-hand side is where they have the fresh cut meats, also the fresh uh, seafood, and they actually cook it right there in front of you. So you do have the ability to watch them as you make your order. They put it in and they cook it for you right there. Everything is fresh. And um, Iberostar is very big on sustainability and also uh, the fresh um, um, menu. The entertainment team, these guys are non-stop. They work from 9 a.m. to 11, 15 p.m. They do get a break in between, but they're constantly getting people involved. There's Shaggy right there. They're always constantly getting people dancing, singing, doing stuff. I don't know what Shaggy was doing there, but yeah. And then there's Endry. I don't know what he was doing there either. But again, these guys were great. We met some great people. Endry, Shaggy, Axel, Ruth, um, Ani, uh, Yeni. Uh, we met a bunch of people. So they keep it busy there. That's the other area where they do dancing and shows as well. Also, if you're having a birthday or a special occasion, please let them know. They will do their best to accommodate you. They, they gave us the bathtub. They gave us champagne. They did all these things for free. It was completely free. Now, also, Iberostar, I want to thank Iberostar. They were they did give us a, um, a butler. We didn't even know what to do with him. He did help us with reservations at the restaurant, but it was great. There's Victor. There's our butler right there. He was awesome and very humble, very nice guy. So if you have something special, let them know. 
here is the sunrise of Bavaro Beach, 7 a.m. We were there in January 2024, and it rises just before 7 a.m. So a lot of people were out there. Um, so just, I do want to mention that Ibero Star, uh, Punta Cana, uh, Bavaro, adults only, five out of five. We love this place. I recommend it. If you want to book it, please give us a call. You can reach out to us at will at wildsadventures.com or 484-357-8216. Hope you like this video. Please give it a like and or subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless.